Hello everyone, I'm Justin. Welcome back to the Geek Review. Today, we're going to be talking about the Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water. I liked it. I really did. Now, yes, there are people out there who do have, for whatever reason or another, a dislike for Spongebob Squarepants. They see it as, you know, just a children's cartoon, or stupid, or silly, or what have you. And, yeah, okay, it is at times a children's cartoon, and it is sometimes stupid, and it is sometimes silly, but not all the time. I, I think the, the best word to describe this movie, experimental. If the first Spongebob movie was something of a proof of concept, can we do it and can it be successful? The sequel is definitely how far can we take it? And they actually take it pretty far. I mean, the first movie was essentially a feature length TV episode. You know, you could chop it up into four bits and, you know, run it alongside the rest of the TV show. But this movie really was a full-fledged and fully realized story. It wasn't just, you know, take the same thing we did in the TV show and do it for longer. They really pushed a couple of envelopes, at least for SpongeBob SquarePants. I mean, nearly everything in this movie was trying something new. You know, the writing was fantastic. The voice acting was amazing. They, they have incredible range for these characters in terms of their performances because they have the time and the freedom to do so. I mean, there are ups and downs. There's different emotions. You know, characters actually have like a heart to heart and, you know, you feel it. You know, the storyline is, is something that they really haven't explored before, and they really do flesh it out to its conclusion. Not only that, but all the setups that they create, they pay off in due time. So that's fantastic. But not only that, but the music is unlike anything you've heard in the show before. And the animation, and, and I'll get to that in, in just a bit. But really, this is bigger and better for Spongebob. And that's what really needs to happen when you have a film adaptation of a TV show. You have to go bigger, better, you have to do new things, you have to give us something that we haven't seen before. And this movie definitely did it. And, and yes, people will, will go into it saying, oh, it's stupid, it's silly... The writing is childish. And yes, there are points in the film where the writing is childish and there are some stupid moments and there are some silly moments and there's even some potty humor moments. But it's a kid's movie. So it's kind of expected. But here's the good thing. The childish writing, the stupid moments, the silly moments, the potty humor, they're not prevalent in the film. They're not even half the film. It's not even, well, maybe maybe 25% of the film or, or around there. But, you know, it's not stupid and silly all the time. I mean, this really was written for adults as well as children. Because it's a family movie. And they want to appeal to both generations. Now, one thing I absolutely love about the film, besides the voice acting... And I say that because I happen to know most of the voice cast and how hard they work and how much effort it actually is to make one of these. The animation. The animation was absolutely fantastic. And it was also very experimental. You know, I, I, definitely, I definitely recommend checking out a, a show called The Amazing World of Gumball. And that, that particular show explores many different types of animation. Often, you know, culminating in one scene, 
different styles and types of, of animation. And this movie did the same thing. You have many different experimental types of animation, all of which is coherent to the story. And, you know, it wasn't just the, the hand-drawn 2D stuff, but also the 3D stuff, and some stuff that you actually may not expect. I mean, if, if this does not get some kind of recognition from professional animators during the Annie Awards, I will be very surprised. Because this definitely was an animator's movie. I, I, was, I wasn't blown away, but I was very surprised by the different styles of animation that they chose to incorporate into this film. As for the uh, celebrity guest appearance, namely Antonio Banderas, he was good. He played his part like he was having fun, and I think he enjoyed himself. And, you know, he's really the, the, the big live-action draw of the film. Everything else is, is the characters that you know and love. And they do stay true to their characters. But even more than that, it is kind of guilty of, you know, circling back upon itself. Everything's back the way it was. But not completely. It actually does learn from the lessons that it gave during the film. And I applaud that. It wasn't just, here's this great big adventure... And now it's like nothing ever happened. No, it they, it they the ending acknowledges it happened, and the characters grew and learned from it. Uh, you know, great animation, great voice acting, again, great music, music that you wouldn't normally expect from the from the SpongeBob movie. Really great experimental song from Farrell or Farrell. I forgot to pronounce the name, but he's he's the, the same person who did the uh, Despicable Me Two soundtrack. So, you know, stay, to, stay, stay through the credits and really enjoy the music because the music, all, most of the soundtrack plays throughout the credits and you really want to give it a listen. There's a, a little thing at the end, but, you know, really stay for the music. Should you see it? Absolutely. It's definitely worth checking out. The effort that the, that the whole cast and crew went to to put this together, it should be, you know, rewarded. Should you pay for it? Mm, maybe not. See it in theaters if, if you're not into Spongebob. Definitely skip the 3D. But, you know, maybe rent it. Catch it on Netflix. Or if Nickelodeon decides to air it on TV, give it a watch then. I highly recommend it. I really enjoyed it. You know, I am a Spongebob fan, so there was that enjoyment for me. But even if you're just a fan of animated films, definitely go check it out. I give the Spongebob movie Sponge Out of Water a B+++. They've earned it. Until then, until my next review, please leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, share this video with anyone that you might feel want to see it. I love talking about movies. I love meeting new people on YouTube. And I shall see you at the next Geek Review.